In this training for the Finance Committee, we spend some time around the statistical data and the reporting that has to be done with that, and it's done for a couple of different reasons. The statistical report has three tables to it. It deals with membership, it deals in Table 2 with expenditures, and in Table 3 with receipts. So as the Finance Committee, you see the importance of Table 2 and 3. Two reports, all the expenditures, and who would be the key person to work on that? The treasurer. They're the bookkeeper. Table 3 deals with receipts. Who is the typical person to ask to work with that? That would be the financial secretary. Membership is going to belong to the membership secretary of the church. And so that would be done by somebody else. So, so how do these tables get put together? Well, it's real simple. It's the responsibility of the lead pastor of the church. Now, if you only got one pastor, you know who's responsible. But if there's a senior pastor and a couple of an associates, the senior pastor is responsible for the reports. So in other words, if I have questions on these reports when I receive them, the senior pastor is who I'm going to call. The tables are received through the district in a process called the Ezra process. You have a district statistician that will help you get those done. They're done in January of each year. So you see, you want to get everything pretty well totaled up, put together, so that you can do the reporting of your expenditures and your receipts in January on a calendar year basis. Now, a lot of folks think it goes from charge conference to charge conference, but that's not right. The statistical tables are built on the year, January 1, December 31, by the lead pastor, and the lead pastor should work with the membership secretary, the treasurer, and the financial secretary to get these numbers in place and correct. So as our statistical tables come due each year, we ask you to spend time around them. Be sure they're as accurate as possible. Not only are they viewed in the district and on the conference level, but the general church also uses them as we begin to look at trends of what's happening in the church. Are we an aging church? Are we a younger church? Is our money coming in from gifts or is it coming in from investments? How do we fund ministry? What are we spending in different ministries? And so you see it becomes important to every group of the church to know how we're actually functioning historically based on membership and funding coming in and going out. So statistical data, once a year, three people help the senior pastor and it gets done really quickly. We'll talk more in just a minute about why the expenditures are so important.